Hello everyone, it's April 19th, 2022. It's Tuesday. It's Harp Tuesday! Welcome to this week's episode. So today I'm going to give you a, a very simple, in the sense that it's easy to describe and, and, and easy to learn, but potentially kind of challenging exercise that I think is good for a number of different things, but in particular for something that I think is a very common sort of bad habit, which is that idea of if you're going down, not placing all four fingers as one unit, but instead walking the fingers down like this rather than rather than placing as a unit. And of course that's understandable partly if you're sight reading or, or, or playing something that's unfamiliar. And that's where exercises can be great because in this case, it's super easy to memorize. We, we know exactly where our fingers are going so we can really focus on that idea of placing two, three, four and coming up three, two, one as one unit. So one unit, one unit. Let me just bring you in a little bit here. There we go. And focused again. Great. And if you have to take time to go. That's fine to start with, right? That eventually we want it all to be equal. But at the beginning, if you take, take as much time as you need. So let's kind of break that down a little bit. So I'm finding four notes in a row. I'm starting on G, but you can start anywhere you want. Four, three, two, one in a row. Find those notes and play four. Nice, relaxed, strong close. So making sure we're not plucking up like this making sure that the pinky finger gets to relax closed as well. And it's not that we're forcing the finger into the palm, it's just a nice follow through. And hopefully it ends up maybe feeling as if that feels good to go as far enough to touch the, the palm. Same as the third finger, the second finger. And again, we're not squeezing hard at this point. It's just a nice, as I say, nice follow through from the strength we've used on the strings. And now here, this is where we need to make sure we're placing all these fingers as one unit. And so we can break that down a little bit and practice that move. We can practice just having the thumb here on the C, opening up the fingers and we want to open up a little bit past. So we don't want to just try to go directly here. We want to go up a little bit and down. And you can see how I'm almost rotating a little bit on that thumb to come up and then drop back down and feel that all these fingers open up. We're not thinking about two and then three and then four, no, or four and three and two. We're thinking of all of them as they open up, probably lightly touching the side of each of each finger and then dropping down. And so you can practice, a great practice for this is to go all of these as one unit getting the brain used to this idea that it's, it's like one big finger and for the fingers to feel what it feels like to find that is one thing. That might feel really easy, but it might also feel really challenging. So practicing that until that starts to feel fluid. And then of course, nice full close with a thumb, nice gentle, uh, a nice, um, strong and yet relaxed close with two. So again, we're not forcing it to touch the palm. It just, if it does as part of the follow through, that's great. Same with the third finger. And again, at a faster speed, it might not. But for now, and now here we're faced with the same thing of wanting to place three to one is one unit. So we can practice this. And again, we're not opening up directly to the string because there's more of a chance of catching the back of the fingernail and buzzing. We're opening up a little bit past and then dropping down. You can see that the thumb doesn't just go right here. It opens up a little past and drops down. So trying to be able to play three, two, one, and that I think is harder than four, three, two because we're having to play three, a thumb plus the three and two. The 
other way you might break down this exercise. So again, exercises within within exercises. Here's this exercise of four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three. But then we can practice these chords. We could also practice the turnaround because I think going two, one, two, three, four, it's not too bad. But going three, four, three is a little bit challenging potentially. Playing that third finger while four is still on the string. So doing some practice of three, four. And then in terms of the turnaround, maybe practicing three and then finding these notes. How smoothly can you do that? So we practice finding this, but if we're coming, we've just played three, everything's closed, finding them. So you might go. Addressing the fact that it's easy to kind of go one, two, three, pause, pause, as we get set for the next. So and then once the whole thing is feeling comfortable or as it's starting to become comfortable even at the beginning you can play around with the rhythm so i think when i started this i was going triple it triple it triple it triple it triple it triple it but you could also do one and two and three and one and two and three and one sort of uh, six, eight, and three, four, those two different rhythms. Um, or. And those kind of exercise the fingers in different ways. You can also do a dotted rhythm. Or skipping, however, however you like to think about it. And uh, any other sorts of rhythms that you want, you could try groups of five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. One. Accenting the downbeat of each group of five, right? So just different ways to kind of play around with that very, very basic pattern. It's a very simple pattern, but great exercise. And in particular, as I say, I think for that idea of placing two, three, four as one unit. So hope that was useful and I will see you in two weeks for another episode of Harp Tuesday. Cheers. <laughs>